You're watching Reason and Theology Live, a show dedicated to charitable discussions, debates, interviews, commentary, and analysis. The show concentrates on theological topics, historical matters, and philosophical problems with content ranging from introductory material to in-depth examinations. And now, your host, Michael Lofton. Hey everybody, welcome back to Reason and Theology, your host Michael on a Saturday, joined by James Battle, my good friend. We are going to be hosting a show, a game show here on Reason and Theology. I think this is the first game show we've done, and it. it's called Right or Not! Yes, yes, it's called Prot or Not which basically is going to be a game show about uh, various contestants that we're going to bring on here in a moment. And what they are going to do is they're going to answer a series of questions. We're going to present five quotes to each one of them. And they're going to have to guess whether or not this was said by a Protestant or a radical, radical traditional Catholic. So they're going to have to discern which one it is. If they get more than, well, three, I should say, three or more right than they win a prize uh so that's, that's generous that's only a 60 percent. you know i i, I, I more think than half. yeah yeah but i don't know some of these might be pretty challenging so we'll see <laughs> and by the way i have to, i have to give you credit for coming up with the title of the, of the game here it's just was, I had, had an epiphany was, my, was, my neurons fired together for once that's pretty epic and uh yeah it's been a while since i've had you on how you been been pretty darn good man life yeah. is life is amazing um work is crazy but uh mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. things are things are good I'm i blessed. hear you i hear you all right well if you're ready to go we are going to bring our first contestant on we have three contestants again each one of them is going to answer a series of five questions discerning whether or not it was written by a protestant or a radical traditional catholic if they get three or more again they win a prize uh we are bringing on kyle whittington how are you kyle i'm doing great glad to be here yeah. you were you were in a ginger beard sandwich there for a second <laughs> ginger beard sandwich <laughs> <laughs> Well, on, it, on either side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is good to have you on. I am excited about this. If you're ready to go, we're going to go ahead and bring up the questions on the screen. Uh, you ready for me to grab them, James? Screen oh, yeah, ready to go? Okay, yep. let me pull it up here. And here is our first question. So yep. if you the king of... So you this is... It, yeah, if you can read it for us, uh, go ahead and read that quote. <laughs> Kyle, if the King of Kings and Lord of Lords were to return today in his glory, would he still recognize his bride, the church? Of course he would recognize her, but not in the sect that eclipses the Sea of Peter. He would not find her at St. Peter's where worship has been offered to an unclean idol. Dun, dun, dun. Not or not. Well, so my first thought goes to Protestants don't talk about the church being the bride of christ so mm. i'm gonna have to say not a prot mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well we broke the game do the thing <laughs> uh, let's see there it's not science fiction it's yeah. what we do every day Dream yard is- here i'll, I'll shield my eyes okay some challenges <laughs> I'll warm my laptop. So bring it back. <laughs> Either one. And by the way, y'all cannot Google them. Don't Google the quotes. It is all right. So don't, <laughs> don't click it more than once. All right. Yeah. So you ready for me to bring it up? All right. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get the next one. Mm-hmm. All right. So here we go. We'll just go in order of how they happen to be in my file folder. All right. You ready? All right. So you got the answer ready to go for us? Oh, did the uh, the, the, the did the answer not show up? Answer. No, no, we didn't see it. It showed oh, us wow. the it was so, really, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you can pull here it up. We go. All, All right. right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hey. All right. Got it. Speaking <laughs> of, 
You got it. All right. So let's go ahead and Vigano? go to question Vigano? two. Or quote two, I how do, should how say. Do you pre- how, do you, how do you pronounce that? I've heard it both. Vigano, Vigano. I don't know. Vigano? I'm going to go with really? Vigano. That's <laughs> what we're going to go with for now. <laughs> All right. All right. Bring this down. The I'll second the next one. one. Yeah, I got it ready. Okay. All right, go ahead. Mm-hmm. I still see Vigano pulled up. Okay, there it is. It should be should be there now. Okay, All right, I can see it now. All right, go ahead and read it. Yes. It's really obvious John Paul II would not write for Telly Tutti, who fought against communism. In the past, Pope Francis would have gotten burned at the stake for his beliefs. Ooh. Who said it? Oh, uh, I actually don't know. Oh. This one's actually a little confusing because on one hand, they're talking positively about Pope St. John Paul II, but at the same time, they don't call him Pope. So I'm going to have to say Protestant on this one. Mm. 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 All right. Let's see the answer. I'm seeing James White. Know again. <laughs> it shows. Oh, me hey. Now. <laughs> there we go. Right. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> James White. Okay, so there's there's a little delay from me bringing it up and no making problem. its way into the stream. Okay. No problem. James All White. Right. Wow, really? Okay. Yep. Wow. Took it he, from, he spoke- uh, yeah, I went searching for that one. I pulled it from one of his YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You ready All for right. the next one? Let's do one it. More, like- one more, and you win. All right, I'm seeing Vigano again. Okay, now here it is. There it is. All right. <clears throat> uh, the mere fact Francis changed the teaching of the catechism means the next pope could change the teaching also, perhaps reversing what Francis did. Obviously, since John Paul II changed the teaching of the prior church, and since Francis changed the teaching of John Paul II, then Francis's teaching may be changed by a Pope Francis II. This fact is just the inevitable consequence of the matter. Everything Who's about that? this, everything about this screams Protestant. So that's what I'm going to go with. All right. See the answer. It is Robert Sungenis. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing about that said Catholic. <laughs> Well then. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So that's two two out of three so far. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go for the fourth. We still we still got we still got a chance. Still got a chance. <laughs> and all again, right. y'all who are watching, Yano's just going to keep coming up again and again. Don't Google them. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> this one. This one I made intentionally tricky. There's there's a bit in between that ellipse, those those dots. Mm-hmm. So didn't want to give didn't want to give too much away. Sure, Are you ready, sure. Kyle? Yeah. The mass, even when said with piety and respect, bears within it a poison harmful to the faith. Who said it? Hmm. Well, the fact that they're mentioning that the mass could be pious or, you know, could be said with piety makes me want to think rad trad. Mm. So not Protestant. Okay. That was Marcel Lefebvre. You got oh, it. Hey, you got there it, go. sir. You're already a winner. So you're secured. You either get a mug or a t-shirt, whichever one you want. Um, but we still got one more for you. Okay. Let's do it. You ready, Kyle? Yep. The See of Peter and the posts of authority in Rome being occupied by antichrists, the destruction of the kingdom of our Lord is being rapidly carried out, even within his mystical body here below. Who said it? Okay, well, everything about that screamed Protestant until you got to his mystical body here below. Mm. Mm. Uh... I'm going to just say Protestant, though, I guess. Mm. It is. 
once again, Marcel Lefebvre. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. But you still won at the end of the day. Okay. So three yeah. out of five. You're in the clear. So close. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle, for coming on. We'll be in touch. I'll get that prize to you. Just let me know if you want the mug or T-shirt. Be happy to send it to you. We'll talk off the air. But again, thank you so much for coming on and doing this, Kyle. All right. Thanks. Not Thanks for having much. me. All right. So now we are going to bring on our next contestant, uh, Dom from the Logos Project. Hey, Dom, how are you? Hey, doing good, guys. How are you doing? Doing good. Good to see you again. How you been? Good. Doing great. All right. Awesome. <laughs> so we are ready to go on our end. So if you're ready to do it, let's go ahead and bring them up. I'm all, all set. Right. Let me pull the next okay. one up. Are you ready to play? <laughs> right or not? <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having way too much fun with that. <laughs> uh. All right. All right. That should be up and ready for you. Okay. Here, we can see it now. All right. There there are a couple of these, Dom. Mm -hmm. Make uh -huh. it a little bit more challenging. There uh, are a couple of these that yeah. have come from not well known authors, but real live examples of okay. genuine online denizens. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as randos on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so all right can you see that okay does it come yep there? i can see it yeah right. there are a bunch of clowns that are in charge of the church i have no respect for any of these liberal scum pedophiles calling the shots at the top mm. i realized that youtube might have just picked that up and <laughs> destroyed so this I, video now since yeah. i said it out loud <laughs> I have to me out. this is gonna be a tough one i I, I could be I could be completely wrong, but I think I know who that is. I'm gonna say not Protestant. Can can okay. I get extra credit for guessing who it is? Go ahead and tell us who it is. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I I didn't. I, I, I think I didn't, it's I didn't ask, I ask the names. My source. <laughs> oh, you don't know the names? Oh, okay. I don't want to. Cardinal. No, no. There, you know, for online people, you know, like Doc, anybody. A, yep, that was a uh, uh, either Discord, or Facebook, or ad trad. Oh, okay. My okay. Whole thing's pop okay. up. There we go. So, you, yeah, yeah, if I, you said not, if you said yeah, not, not prot, that's a that's a winner. You got it. That is a win. Okay. So, right. give, him, give, him the, give him the give him the bell, Michael. Give him the bell. Oh, boom, <laughs> boom. There it is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It doesn't count. It's it doesn't fair, count unless you get the bell. Until you get it. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. All right. Here we go. I've got it up. You ready? Okay. Yeah. I feel much freer now that I am certain the Pope is Antichrist. Who said it? <laughs> and there's oh, a lady tough. at the bottom with her hands open. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's really tough. Oh man, I feel like she's so though. liberated. <laughs> I did have fun oh. picking some of the backgrounds. I love the there. backgrounds that you use. <laughs> so, why would she be free if she's a Protestant? Uh, I feel much freer now that I am certain the Pope is Antichrist. <laughs> and uh, it may not be a she it's just a picture of a she at the bottom yeah, yeah. yeah that's, like, it's, that's, that's like a six-year-old girl at the bottom <laughs> yeah i don't want to say not for all of them but the idea of freedom here i'm gonna go with rad trad all right Ooh, please please that is martin luther oh i should have thought of luther <laughs> There's gonna Three be X's in there. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of Protestants today. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so, we're, all right. so hold on. Wait, that's that's yeah. zero yeah. out of two so far, right? No, 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 no. no, no. That's one. one. Got the first that's one. Right. That's the bell. right. One out of two. Okay, one out of two. I, I'm not trying that's to cheat you out. It might be at negative one <laughs> now, though. <Yeah. laughs> Three strikes. Oh, why didn't I think of Luther? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ask myself that every morning. <laughs> I don't know why. 
<laughs> Man, I almost spit out my coffee. What? <laughs> you can't do that when somebody's drinking. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. <clears throat> Ready or not, here comes the next one. <clears throat> Now they treat us as persons guilty of schism and heresy because we preach a doctrine unlike theirs. Do not obey their laws and hold our separate assemblies for prayers, baptism, and the celebration of the supper and other holy activities. Who said it? Hmm. That could be a Catholic in history. Um, it sounds like something James White would say. <laughs> uh, now they treat us as persons guilty of schism and heresy because we preach adoption unlike theirs i'm gonna go with protestant yeah mm. all right here comes the reveal mm. the answer is yes john calvin got it john <laughs> calvin all right that's two out of three so far you're one, one point more. away from getting the mug or shirt <laughs> all right all right you got it you got a good chance so far <clears throat> All right, here comes the next one. God holds us individually responsible for what we believe and why we believe it. The Pope told me so. Won't cut it in the end. Mm. Who said it? Yeah. I'm going to go Protestant on that one. Mm. All right, drum roll, please. That was James White from the Roman Catholic yep. Controversy. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You got it. Three out of four. Three out oh, of let's four. Let's get four. Let's I get went. four. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> this is a this is another online online person, right? <clears throat> okay. Gotcha. You are so blind and in a fog. If in your scenario a pope is a heretic and cannot be put to a trial. He would be able to do whatever he wants, say all kinds of heresies, condemn proselytism, practice paganism, and you would not be able to touch him ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. That screams rad trad to me. <laughs> is that your final answer? Is. Uh, yeah, final yeah, answer. You don't even think. <laughs> yeah. That's the set of a contest. Facebook set of a contest. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Four oh, out of five. You're a winner. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll be in such off the air. With the on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Well done. All right. God bless, Dom. Thank you for God coming on. <laughs> All right. Man, it's, it's like, it's like fireworks. Huh? It takes, it's like fireworks, man. It takes so much work to set up and then. <laughs> It's just all gone, but it's so much fun. So much it's fun. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, let's bring on our third contestant here, Jose. Right. Hey, Jose, hey. how are you? Hello. Greetings hey. from Peru. Can hey. you hear me all right? Oh, wow. Yeah, we can hear you. All right, because it's summer down here, and I have the AC running, and so I <laughs> just wanted to make sure you guys can no hear me. No problem, no problem. I got the AC running in here, too. So I, I, I understand to completely being in Houston. It's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit yeah. outside. I don't know what <laughs> Celsius that is. I have no clue either. Yeah, it's all right. It's hot. It's, <laughs> it's hot. hot. <laughs> I feel you, brother. All right. Are you all ready, right. Jose? Let's bring it up here. All right. Let me bring up the next, next one. Mm -hmm. so much pressure right because if, if i'm the only loser i uh, know right <laughs> <laughs> i think i think yeah. i i think i think you'll you, you've got it you've got a good shot here jose all you right all right shot. let's see so here's here's the first one <clears throat> now when they wish to constrain us to the communion of their church they demand two things of us the first is that we should participate in all their prayers sacraments and ceremonies the second that we should grant to their church every honor power and jurisdiction that christ gives to his church who said it this sounds like uh like old school at like 15 16th century protestant yeah <laughs> that's what i'm thinking <laughs> through i don't know the answers but that's what it sounds like to me I think all right is that what you're going with is i'm going yeah that's okay. right i'm saying prod yeah, I think you got this one in the bag. That was another choice quote. 
from Ooh. John Calvin and his work <laughs> in the Greeks. One out of one so <laughs> far. It. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. All right. You now, get bonus points if you tell us who it is, by the way. I said I said 16th century uh, Protestant. Yeah, was, yeah, uh, yeah, that was really good. That was really good. If there were half points, I would hand one out but, because that that's worthwhile. The, the, this next one, I didn't get this quote until later, and I, mm-hmm. I found this slide, and I it came up randomly, and I'm like, uh, you know what? I'm just I'm just going to use this background because I think it's funny. But mm-hmm. the next quote is actually going to fit this a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Actually, let me give you let me give you the quote first. Let me give you the quote first, and then Go. we'll do the then we'll do the funny slide. Ready? All right. All right. The the funny slide that has nothing to do with the quote, but would be perfect <laughs> for this one. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Referring to Pope Francis, <clears throat> you and I agree he's gathering the cows together for the eventual slaughter. Ooh. Prod or not? Mm. Wow, this is tough. Mm. This is really hard. Mm. Um, I mean, this could easily be uh, James White, or uh, it, it could just be like a random uh, yeah, <laughs> rat yeah. <rat> online. <laughs> I'm gonna commit to James White. I, 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 I mean, I don't Ooh. know if it's gonna be James White, but it's pro- Protestant. Protestant. If and if it's James White. Uh, even, better. Cool. even better, yeah, even better, even better. <laughs> you had it. Okay. You had it. It was. Oh a no. No. no! You go with your gut. Man. You go with your gut. <laughs> I don't think he deserved three for that one. He was so close. <laughs> <laughs> he actually said it, and I was about to jump yeah, in. And yeah, go, yeah, yeah, Is yeah, that your final like, answer? Yeah, and then, yeah. all right. So I take back like two of those twice. X's, and I keep one of the X's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so here's the you know you and I agree he's gathering the cows together for the eventual slaughter. I got this I don't know I got this quote an hour or two like late this morning, and I had already made this slide with the cows, <laughs> <laughs> which man, if I only had more time, I would have right. just swapped them around because I just would have been would have been perfect. But you know. Life we're has a funny way of working out. Yeah, we're going with the cows. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> here's the quote. The chief cause that I fell out with the Pope was this. The Pope boasted that he was the head of the church and condemned all that would not be under his power and authority. Mm. Who said it? it? This also sounds like a 16th century Protestant, like kind of rationalizing, like explaining why he did why he did. Yeah. Uh, um because like a, a, a rat trad would would like he wouldn't fell off, uh, he, he wouldn't say that that the problem with the pope is that you're under his authority and his uh-huh. power he would say something uh-huh. about the pope being a heretic and the, the problematic uh-huh. so i'm gonna uh-huh. i'm gonna go with protestant okay all right here comes the reveal do you want it do you want to guess do you have a name do you have a name on that one luther you, you, i'm just i'm gonna say luther oh did did we agree that bonus points for getting it right yeah, because it was got a, bonus yeah. got a bonus point on that one. So yeah. what I'm gonna do is put you at three on that I, one. You, I, I so won. It's already a winner. Because <laughs> I gotta give you an extra bonus point because you got it right. But I he think missed, we got he missed points. the first cow, but yeah, he made but it a double you, on the you second. Made it up on that one. Well <laughs> done. That's good. All right, now I think we got two more for you. Though. We do. Yeah. We do have two more. Let's Michael. do it. Let's do it. All right, Jose. Just for fun. Here, here comes. Let's do this one. It's a nice, nice short one. The short ones I find are harder because there's less context. Of course, of course. <clears throat> He's no holy father of Christianity. Dang Who's it! it? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. That's so tough. I mean. Man, this is just a shot in the dark. Like this is yeah. just like me clo- this is probably <laughs> this, this, this is probably the hardest one of the entire game. <laughs> Anybody like, could have said that. <laughs> he's it's no like holy words. father of Christianity. Oh man, I'm gonna say Protestant again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Final answer because it was was a Damn, I got it. <laughs> Facebook Protestant. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right man. we got one more. 
love the these slides. I just love the I love the nice script. I love the nice script at the bottom. It's so it's so peaceful. Facebook Facebook Protestant. Relaxing. <laughs> you can feel the breeze in your hair. All right, you ready for the last one? I'm ready. I'm ready. This might you'll you'll either knock this out of the park or it's going to be real tough. Nice brick wall background. Hopefully you. Won't. Oh no, it's not a brick wall. It's a like rug or something. Look like a brick yeah. wall. Yeah. It's weird. Okay. Now now that I have it full. Now that I'm actually looking at it full screen, it's it's definitely not a brick wall. And it's like <clears> a right, blanket or something. Or it does. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Rome claims absolute authority in spiritual matters over all believers in Jesus Christ. She claims infallible teaching authority. The papacy is not an issue about which one can be neutral. Mm. Protestant. I'm just going with Protestant because of Rome, the way they use uh, the, the way, the way they use mm -hmm. Rome in the in the quote. Mm -hmm. All right. That makes sense. That is once again, James White from the Roman Catholic controversy. Yeah. Got it. You got it. You got it. You killed it, Jose. You absolutely yeah. crushed it. You did not let us down. <laughs> do we, by the way, James, do we have any bonus ones here? Oh, any not, not that I have slides for. That's okay. That's okay. Even if we don't have a slide. You can Jose, do a second you, show. You, you want to, you want to, <laughs> oh, uh, sure, Jose, sure. You want to stick around for just a bonus one for fun? Sure. Yeah. No problem. Here. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to pull it up here. Mm -hmm. This one is gonna be. <laughs> this one's gonna be tough. The last bonus for Rod or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to just read this one. <clears throat> All right, here we go. This is, this is, uh, all right. I'm just going to read it. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything else. <clears throat> sure. The liturgical abuse of the Protestant new right novus ordo is the ultimate rebellion against God and his apostolic rights. Who said it? Rat trap. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. I don't know. Uh, Michael, I'm, uh, you're going to have to judge this one. It was Orthodox. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. A trick, a question. trick question! Trick <laughs> question! <laughs> so, I mean, trick if, question. It's, if it's prod or not, I mean, it's not. It's technically but right. I should, I should have said not Protestant. Not. See, this, this is this is the importance of nuance. I was too specific. I didn't I didn't protect my claim. I said rat trad. I didn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, say yeah. not Protestant. Yeah, Damn. Yeah, yeah. See, I would have said, said I would have said Lefebvre. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So uh, that that's just wow. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. I I I intentionally didn't make that one into a slide because it was just like I knew it was going to be brutal <laughs> for whoever whoever I gave that to. I knew it was going to be brutal, and I would have I would have uh, would have given that one to Kyle, but I got yeah. that one from Kyle. So <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do that one. We had to yeah, use slides on him that he didn't know about. So yep. <laughs> Well, yeah, Jose, thank you so much for coming on and doing this. We'll be in touch. Um, so I'll talk to you after the show, and we'll talk about your prize. You get the choice of a mug, T-shirt, or you can get a um, my free – well, I say it's free. It's normally 40 bucks, but you get my course for free on the Magisterium if you want that. So just uh, let, let me know. Uh, we'll talk off the air, however. But, again, thank you so much for coming thank on you. and doing this. God bless. See you. This was very fun. Yeah. <laughs> He did well. well they all did we, well. We, yeah, they did. We we had some some technical challenges there a bit, yeah, but yeah. you know, I think now uh, we, we've learned a bit. Oh um, yeah, but it, if yeah, anyone but... in the audience has quotes mm -hmm. that they want to send in, mm -hmm. where 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 should they send them, Michael? Because if finding the quotes is the is the hardest part, finding the quotes and condensing them down is is the most <clears throat> challenging part. Re I have some ideas for what we can do next time. Mm -hmm. If folks want a next time, because yeah. I, I don't know, I had a blast. I hope everybody else did. Yeah, I, I thought it was fun. If y'all want to do more of these, let me know. We can also come up with other game challenges. This doesn't have to be the next one, although I like this thing, to be honest. So personally, I'd prefer it. But 
we can go with something else, but y'all let me know. I did put a poll there in the chat, so make sure to vote on it and uh, let me know if you want to do these again. And of course, put in the chat specifically if you want to see more of these or a different game show. But yeah, if you have ones for Prod or Not for me, reason and theology at gmail.com would be a good place to email it to me. Of course, send me the source for it so we can just double check and verify it. But yeah, <laughs> this was this is good. I I, I feel like we may have made it too easy since they all won. <laughs> well, you know, you, you did have um, Kyle Whittington and Dom on yeah. in the beginning who are, you know, in this every yeah. day. And, and Jose yeah. clearly knows his stuff. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, too. yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he was like, I think maybe maybe that's why you had some trouble getting people to volunteer is because yeah. you know, there's that fear of like, oh, man, I don't want to go on live on YouTube and make it. I think that's what it is. Myself. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's video and everything. Some people don't. Yeah, want to be on video, so maybe next time we can do audio. Only we do. Yeah, we do. We could do a call. Like in. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. An anonymous anonymous call An anonymous right? yeah we could definitely do more of those but thank you so much for coming on and and helping me host this james this was you're welcome this was awesome i really enjoyed it yeah me and, too michael and everybody hit that like button and the subscribe button and again put it in the comment section let me know if you want to see more of these and of course check me out patreon.com for slash reason and theology if you want to support me all right that's going to do it God bless. Are you confused about how Catholic teaching authority works? With encyclicals, papal bulls, councils, and many other things, it's easy to get confused on what is authoritative and what is not. Fortunately, at MaximusInstitute.com, I have prepared a course explaining the magisterium from A to Z. Visit the website and check out the course Understanding the Magisterium for more information.